Yo, how goes it, Kasuga-kun? <laughs> look at you. You're blending in already, Zhao. You know it. Turns out drinks taste a lot better without bodyguards watching your every move. Yeah? So that was the life of the former leader of the Yokohama Lumong. That shit was dumped on me from the day I was born. Kind of a drag. Growing up knowing you had a fucking script. Well, the nice thing about alcohol is it tastes better if you complain while you're drinking it. Ah, oh, sure. Enjoy my childhood trauma. <laughs> but I guess after all the shit you've been through, you've earned it. Your dad led the Yokohama Lumong before you, right? What's he doing now? Yeah, he died a few years after retiring. Right in his bed. He's lucky he never got shot or stabbed. Hey, yeah. That's a real achievement for a gang boss. Yeah, I guess so. He only managed it by sleeping with one eye open his whole life. No matter how you slice it, it's not a great way to live. I sure as hell didn't want to lead the Liu Meng. The Mabuchi. <laughs> this shit was always up his alley. You mean Lao Ma? What even happened to that guy? I haven't even seen him since we kicked his ass during the whole Omi Alliance thing. Don't you know what the Yokohama Liumang does to traitors? They use this filling that goes inside meat buns. What? You serious? Right now, Lao Ma is... Bao Ma? <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking hilarious. But I was kidding. You think I'm the kind of guy who'd do that? I don't want to make any assumptions, but you're making it hard, man. For real. Where's Lao Ma? I did not turn him into a meat bun, Kasuka-kun. That was a fucking joke. Hey, I was hoping it was. But I also know if he did something real bad, you could be tempted to grind him up. Well, he may not be inside a bun, but I never said I didn't put a bullet in him. Uh, so... Are you admitting that you did now? <laughs> You're softer than any bun out there. Look at you all worried. I just don't like the thought of that happening to people. Even creeps like Mabuchi, who murdered your boss without a second thought? Even creeps like him. All I wanted was to knock that guy's lights out and hand him to the cops. <laughs> but by the time his lights were nice and knocked out, the army showed up and you never saw him again, did you? You really did kill him, didn't you? All right, I'm bored of messing with you. I didn't kill him. Oh, <laughs> had a feeling you didn't. Why is that? Hard to explain, but uh, I don't get that vibe from you. Not one bit. In fact, it always kind of felt to me like your hard-ass act was just a show for your boys. A front you put on. Ah, that's a little harsh there, eh, Kasuga-kun? You don't strike me as the type to lock guys up or torture them, either. Especially one of your own, like Mabuchi. Hmm. He and I call the same place home. Nothing could make me take his life. But now, Song Hui's in charge of the Yokohama Liu Meng. It's up to her to settle things if Mabuchi shows his face again. He's the reason Komi Jewel's a pile of ashes, so I don't think she'll be treating him as nice as I would. <laughs> Probably not. Which is why I gave Mabuchi the heads up and told him to leave Ijincho. Really? Well, that's taking things into your own hands. A few of his boys went with him, and I forgave the ones that wanted to stick around. It's a hard reset. Clean slate for everyone. Song Hui was good with that. You two are more generous than I thought. Mabuchi brought in a lot of cash for us, and he was damn consistent about it. The fact that he kept a bunch of shit hidden from us was an issue, but I could deal. So you knew about it and you just let it slide? The guys from my dad's generation were pissed, for sure. Kept saying Mabuchi was breaking sacred laws of the gang. But what did they expect from a sadist in Japan's most famous gray zone? And that he'd have a moral compass or some shit? <laughs> Seriously? How about we toast to Mabuchi? Wherever he might be. 
Well, he's no friend of mine, but what the hell? If you can cheer to him, I can too. Now we're talking. I was wondering if anyone would show up, but didn't expect it to be you. Aren't you busy? Should you really be drinking right now? <laughs> I'll drink whenever the hell I want to drink, Zhao. And don't forget, I was a regular at this place before you were. Oh, <laughs> is that how you want to play it? Okay, well, if we're doing that, then who's the newcomer in Eugene Show, Kasuga? You or me? Uh, fair point. Man, this whole schooling you as your senpai thing sure is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you win. <laughs> anyway, sit down, yeah? You know, when we're out drinking like this, it's hard to imagine you ever being the leader of a gang. Everyone's the same once you strip off the mask they put on for work. Rich, poor, leader, follower, whatever. You never know what people are really like. Right. You can't judge someone just by looks alone. The important part is what's on the inside. You catch on fast, Kasuga-kun. Yeah, I'm just stating the obvious, man. Gotta look at someone's character to see whether they'd be a good leader or not. All jokes aside, there's this whole idea of being next in line just because you're the boss's son. No logic in it, but it's always there. Yeah, can't choose who your parents are. Still, wasn't there some way you could have given up the throne? Not everybody's cut out to run a gang. Nothing wrong with that. And I'm sure somebody else would have stepped up if you had stepped down. Most important thing in any group is the leader being a good fit. I don't know if I was a good fit or not, but I was a pretty sharp kid back then. <laughs> if I put my mind to it, I could excel at pretty much anything. Sports, school, all that shit. And I don't remember losing any fights, either. I was a lot craftier than the other kids. Sounds like you were pretty talented. I just didn't give a flying fuck, that's all. Guess that's what happens when you're good at everything. Real modest, aren't you? Up until I swapped places with my old man, we were always fighting with our rivals in Chinatown. But after their boss, Lao Ka Long, bit the big one, the E. Jean Three got their stalemate going. Your rivals from Chinatown? Are you talking about the Snake Flower Triad? Or <laughs> they were pretty crazy. Ah, they pulled out of Japan a long time ago. There's not many of them left. Oh, so you became the leader of the Yokohama Lumong after the Snake Flower Triad was out of the picture? Just about. Had to have been almost ten years ago. Honestly, the whole thing was a pain in the ass. Hmm. Ogi Kubo let me in on the whole counterfeit bills thing right away. Also told me about how the stalemate in Ijin Cho was rigged from the start. Man, still can't hardly believe that. The only people in the Liumong that knew about that were my dad and the old guard. The new boys kept saying they wanted to move in and take over, but it was always up to me to keep them on their leashes. Hmm. <sighs> then, it was no ambition this, and a weak-ass bitch that. Sounds like a fun job, eh? <laughs> Haven't seen this side of you before, Zhao. You're really starting to open up and let loose. How many have you had? It's not like I gotta worry about the gang anymore. So I'll get as drunk as I damn well please. Is that a problem? Hell no, it's not. I was just saying, it's been fun. Fun, huh? Well, maybe I have shown too much of my hand. If I was still the boss, my bodyguards would have stopped me by now. Oh, really? I hope I didn't kill your buzz. Nah. I know you're the kind of guy that just says whatever pops into his head. <sighs> I'm gonna go sober up. Yeah, sure. Let's get another drink when you're up for it. <laughs> Sounds good. Same goes for you, alright? <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it.
Yo, Kasuga-kun. I've already got a good buzz going. Oh yeah? Nice. Could use one of those myself. Mind if I join you? Sure. I was getting kind of bored drinking by myself. So, what are the Yokohama Liumon guys up to now? Any of them ever swing by your place? Nah, I don't see them too much. And the ones who sided with Mabuchi seem pretty hesitant to get anywhere near me. Sounds about right. I mean, they did stage a full-on mutiny and shit. Do you ever wonder why they sided with Mabuchi instead of you? Not nah, really. But if I know those guys as well as I think, I'd say it was because Mabuchi was easy to understand. Easy to understand? How you figure? His goals were crystal clear. Everything for money and power. If rules had to be broken or blood had to be spilled, so be it. So, in Mabuchi's world, as long as you had balls and muscle, you could work your way to the top? Even if you stepped on your boys to get there. As long as you swore loyalty to Mabuchi. Damn, I could get messed up fast. And I thought I heard somewhere that Mabuchi was actually pretty smart. That true? Oh yeah. He spoke multiple languages, ran numbers better than a calculator, and most important of all, he was just fine with breaking kneecaps. He was born for the underworld. If he'd been Tojo, I bet he would have gone even farther than you. <laughs> Honestly? Anybody would look like hot shit compared to me. I was known around town as Rock Bottom Ichiban for a while. I see. Well, I take back what I said. Hmm? Why's that? You got something Mabuchi doesn't. That's why me and so many others gravitate toward you. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to say was that the younger Mabuchi had some talent. Yeah. I even went as far as asking Mabuchi to be my right-hand man because of it. Huh? You mean you're the guy that gave him all that power? I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I am. Come on, man. That's not something to laugh about. Nah, you see, Mabuchi was just that special of a guy back then. He wasn't the type to just chill on the sidelines. Guy won me over, too. How exactly? When Mabuchi was younger, he just had this... I don't know, I guess you'd call it... Aspiration. He was going straight to the top. And he had the talent to get there, too. He had something I didn't. It's probably why I was so drawn to him. Just like you, Kasuga-kun. <laughs> now that I think about it, you two are pretty alike. Come on, don't say that. Not when Mabuchi became such a scumbag. How'd that happen, anyway? Uh, thinking about it now, I imagine it had something to do with him being promoted to officer. From that moment on, he would challenge me right out in the open. Didn't matter that we were roughly the same age and I outranked him. He probably didn't like that I was born into the top spots. Nor that I kept up the weak cooperation policy. Mabuchi was pretty goddamn assertive. As far as I know, I was nothing but a thorn in his side. Well, then, sounds like you should have known he'd betray you eventually. Nah, I probably would have trusted him no matter what he said. But I know my old man and his boys didn't think too highly of him. They said he'd betray us for sure, so it would be better to get rid of him sooner rather than later. They were pretty quick to try and make him disappear. So what'd you do? I fought back. I probably mentioned this earlier, but... I think it's really dumb when people kill the guys in their own inner circles. And this was during a time when responsibility was starting to fall to me and Mabuchi instead of the old boys. Stomping out Mabuchi was like stomping out our future. So I stood up to them. Uh, the elders were pretty tough to persuade. That's the first and only time in my life I'd grovel like that. You did all that for Mabuchi? Why go through that for a guy who hates you? True, Mabuchi was a fucking weirdo, and at times an evil son of a bitch. He wasn't likable either. But 
He had a passion I didn't have. He had talents, and above everything else, I thought of him as my brother. You can see why I don't want him dead. You're right. Sorry, I was out of line. I'm getting used to you doing that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Good thing you get me. Why is that? Because talking like this is great. I see now you're a pretty passionate guy, Zhao. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah, stop fronting so much already. You're always pulling that shit. That's why I could never figure you the hell out. Now that we're a couple drinks in, I feel like I'm finally getting to know the real Zhao. You've got a lot of heart, and you care about your family. That goes a long way in my book. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing when you say it out loud like that. <laughs> Look at you, your face is all red. What's up with that? Ah, I'm just drunk. Let's keep knocking him back, yeah? <laughs> sure. To Zhao Senpai, for keeping it real. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers. Ah, Kasuga-kun. Just in time. I was waiting for you. Hmm? What's up? Did something happen? Ah, I'll get right to the point. Mabuchi's come back to Ijincho. Wait, really? I thought you gave him and his boys the boot. Right? Ain't that some shit? After we let him go and everything. Yeah. Do you think he wants back in the Yokohama Lyumong? Who knows? I don't think he has that kind of power anymore. Most of his lackeys bailed on him. What about the Omi? Is it possible they're still backing him? Uh, the Omi Alliance wouldn't have any use for him at this point. Well, if that's true, wouldn't it mean his return isn't much of a threat? That's what I'm thinking. Mabuchi's out with the trash now. Bet you're happy about that. Maybe. But remember, he was in control of Ijinsho not that long ago. I'm sure I've said it before, but the real issue is with Songhui. Yeah. She'd be setting a bad example if she didn't bring the hammer down on the guy who torched their home. Yep. She's running the show now. Songhui finds out Mabuchi's back. He's as good as dead. True. So, uh, what do you want to do about all this? I want to chase him off before the Komiju will make their move. So you still won't turn your back on him? Even after all he's done? Right. Think I'm just too soft. But when it comes down to it, he's still my brother. <sighs> Even though he acts nothing like it, guy tried to kill me for shit's sake. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with being soft. You're better off that way, if you ask me. I like knowing there's actually a beating heart somewhere in that chest of yours. Don't tell me you're surprised, Kasuga-kun. <laughs> Bastard. Anyway, if we're gonna get to him before the Komi Jewel, we can't be sitting on our asses. Once we find out where he is, we're gonna have to move quick. If you need a hand, just let me know. Kasuga-kun, thanks. You know, if anyone's a softie here, I'd say it's you. <laughs> Does that make you think any less of me? Nah, quite the opposite. I think it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Good shit. Well, seeing as you're here, I imagine you've got some free time right now. What if I do? Want to tag along with me as backup? A meeting with Mabuchi. You found out where he's hiding? Oh, yeah. He sent over one of his guys. Really? Who? Uh, yo. Wait, you're Zhang, right? Mabuchi sent you? Why are you on his side? Last I checked, he didn't give you the time of day. Shut it! Laoma needs me now more than ever. Guess he really did lose a lot of boys. The only ones left are weaklings who got nowhere else to go. What the fuck you say? Easy, Zhang. Just let it go. So, are we going to Mabuchi's super secret hideout or not? 
<sighs> I'll take you there. Just follow me. Hang on a sec. Just what does Mabuchi want with us? He wants permission to return to Eugene Show. And he's not asking you, Kasuga. He's asking the boss. The Liu Mang's under Songhui now. You know that, right? Yeah, but Lao Ma said he wants to make things right with you first. The Komiju lost their home because of him. I don't think he has much chance of being forgiven, you know? He knows that. And he still wants to apologize to Xiao? That doesn't sound like Mabuchi to me. Don't you figure it's a trap? What do you think? But if we want to see Mabuchi, we'll have to go along with it. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Hey, I know this place. And this is the tunnel where Mabuchi locked us up. There's very few places the Komijo's eyes don't see. Heh. <laughs> you scared, Kasuga? Watch your mouth before I put my foot in it. <sighs> Kasuga-kun, stop! Huh? We're blocked in. What? Xiao, what the hell? You said he hardly had any guys left. I guess I underestimated the number a bit. He's still got some fans. I, I did just as you asked, Lao Ma. Long time no see, Xiao. <sighs> yeah. Didn't think I'd see you again, Mabuchi. So I'm thinking Xiao ain't getting any apology from you after all. We're just here to be slaughtered. That's right. If I offer up your heads, I'll have a seat at the Omi Alliance table for sure. Seriously? You still hoping to move up in the world even after you've been laid so low? How's that gonna happen, man? Money and power. Whatever it takes. This endless ambition of mine is what I live for. Still getting played by the Omi. You're smart, but you never learn, Mabuchi. <laughs> Think you can keep up that smirk? Remember how much fun we had at Qingjin? I say we pick up where we left off. Fuck's sake, give it up. This is getting more pathetic by the minute. <laughs> Shut up. Come on, Mabuchi. Can't you see? Zhao came here because he cares about you. He still sees you as his brother, even now. Wake the hell up. Before you do something you can't take back. Shut up, Kasuga, you bastard! It's your fault I'm in this mess! No, you listen to me, damn it! It's fine, Kasuga kun. I'm starting to get real pissed off at our friend here. I think the only way I can get through to him is by slugging him one. You're about to see a real different side of me. So keep this shit on the down low, alright? Huh? Hey, Mabuchi! Why don't you cut out the sneaky shit and face me man to man? You want my head? Well, come and get it! I'm right here! You asked for it. I'll kill you!
fact. You're in it now. Ah. <laughs> Are you done with all the fun and games yet? Cool. Lama, everyone's wiped out. We're finished. This is the last time I'll say it. Get your ass out of Ijin Cho right the fuck now. Song Hui already knows you're here. If you stick around, she'll kill you. As if I'd ever let the Komijil catch me. Damn it, Mavuchi. It's time to stop! Do you really think you can keep this up? Her guys only left you alone until now because she was doing me a favor! That's what your life hangs on, man. Just one little favor! Show. Look, I know you hate my guts. Well, guess what? I hate yours too! No matter how much I hate you, no matter how far you fall, you're still my brother. I don't want to see you die. You hear me? I don't want you going out like that. I've said all I needed to. It's in your hands now. So you can either die or get lost. Your choice. Whenever you choose, this is goodbye. Take care, Lama. <laughs> had to yell like that in a while and now I'm thirsty drinking really is man's only salvation <laughs> sounds like you're not used to yelling your real feelings like you did maybe you should do it more often no way wears me out and I'll be real with you it just ain't me feels lame you think I kind of like that side of Zhao it was nice feeling like I could see past those shades of yours you act all detached from everyone, but deep down, you got a big old squirming mess of feelings, don't you? Guess these shades don't hide shit. You'll keep this off the record, won't you? I don't know if I should. Well, don't fuck with me about this. Promise you won't say anything. You never know. Ah, oh, but I know. You're too good a friend to pull that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. And you know what good friends do? Ah, 
They get too drunk to talk about that kind of shit. <laughs> Damn straight. You want to do another round? <laughs> Hell yeah. Beat me up, Scotty. Beat me up, Scotty.